At Hard Travel, we know that booking airfare can be tough and it's gotten so much more confusing because the airlines keep adding more categories. So you may not know exactly what you're booking when you're booking on a travel website or you're booking directly with the airline and then you show up and get an experience completely different than what you're looking for. So I wanted to just take a minute today to explain the difference between basic economy, economy and extra legroom economy and premium economy and business and first. So within those six classes of service, we're pretty sure that we've got you covered. Basic economy. I can't tell you how much I hate basic economy for a lot of reasons. So first off, this is a relatively new class of service. The airlines just started offering it in the last couple years. And really the purpose is to compete with the low cost airlines. So the way these low cost airlines get super low fares is they unbundle everything. They charge you for your seat assignment, for your checked bag. They charge you for putting bags sometimes in the overhead, for bringing heavy carry-ons. There's lots and lots of fees that they stick you with. And so the big carriers were having trouble competing with them on those fares. So what they did is they stripped down the ticket to absolutely nothing. And that's what you get when you book a basic economy fare. Sometimes you can't put a bag in the overhead. Many times you don't get a seat assignment. You can't change your seat assignment. Sometimes the tickets are uncancelable and unchangeable. Um, so there's a lot of punitive things on it. Many times our clients come to us and say, hey, we found this really cheap fare. We will not book basic economy for our clients unless they specifically ask for it and completely understand. And the scarier thing is they've now added that to international flights. So sometimes when you see that low, low fare from LA to London, that means you don't have a checked bag included, which you're probably going to bring. You can't assign your seats, um, things along those lines that are not fun. So the next one I want to talk about is economy air. This is what people have been booking for as, as long as I can absolutely remember. So this is a standard ticket that usually includes one checked bag for international flights, no checked bags for domestic flights, but you can pay for a seat assignment or sometimes you get them for free. You can bring a carry on bag, you can put it in the overhead and you can pick your seat ahead of time. There's also some other classes that are just above that. So the next one is kind of, I'll call it economy plus, economy comfort. The different lines call it something different. But what it is, is it's actually an economy seat with more legroom. So what they've done is they've just eliminated some seats. They've made the, the rows wider apart. For me, as somebody who's 6'6", this makes all the difference in the world. But it's important to know that you're still flying an economy seat. So the next step above these extra legroom seats are true premium economy seats. This is a completely different class of service than economy. So they're usually in their own separate cabin. Sometimes they're at the front right behind business class. But what's important about them is they're very different than a standard economy seat. So all the US carriers do offer this now and most of the European carriers offer it. What I like is you usually get your own armrest. That's something that, that I value greatly as much as I travel, not having to wrestle the armrest with somebody. They have a little leg rest that comes up behind your knees. It's not a full recliner, but it's usually a little leg rest that comes up behind. The seats are further in front of you, so people aren't reclining right back into your seat. In fact, some of them are hard back seats that slide forward, so nobody reclines back into your seat. Uh, but this is kind of a hybrid category. It usually also includes two checked bags, elevated service on board, maybe better food, um, better drink, and things along those lines. So this is that perfect option for those who don't want a standard economy seat, but maybe can't make it up to business class. Next up is business class, which is an elevated travel experience that for most people is the ultimate way to travel internationally. So I'll start with the onboard experience. The seat itself is great. You're gonna have a lot more personal space. You're gonna have a foot rest where you can put your feet up uh, and relax throughout the flight. And virtually all of the seats turn into completely lie flat beds. So if you're on an overnight flight, you can have dinner, relax, go to sleep, and then wake up rested in your destination. So in, in addition to that onboard experience, you also have a great experience before and after your flight. So the first one is when you show up at the airport, you're gonna have an expedited check-in line. You're gonna be able to check more bags. Generally, it's at least two bags. Sometimes it's three bags and oftentimes the weight goes up to 70 pounds. Then you'll have an expedited line to go through security. And once you get through security, you'll go hang out at one of the lounges. I love the lounge experience because airports are such chaos. There's so much going on. It's a quieter place where you can have a, have a meal, have a drink and just kind of relax before that long flight. Throughout the flight and when you arrive at your destination, you get an elevated experience as well. So if you happen to have a, a longer connection, you can go visit one of the lounges like I did on a recent stopover in London, take a shower, have a nice meal, get rested, so that when you take that last connecting flight, you arrive at your destination rested. When you arrive at your final destination, you get off the plane first because you're at the front of the plane, and then also your bags come off before everybody else. So from start to finish, business class is a phenomenally elevated experience. Finally, we have the ultimate way to travel on any commercial aircraft, and that's first class. So the most important thing to know is that the products are very different. 
it's gonna be higher end than business class in every single you know, category. You're gonna get usually more checked bags, you're gonna get uh, better food, you're gonna get more space, all of those things. But you know, you could have a three bedroom mini apartment on Etihad, you can pick one of the Singapore Airlines suites where you can put two suites together where it's completely private for two people, has a bed and a chair. Um, or what, what I flew recently, which was Lufthansa, which had eight first class seats that turned into a nice long eight foot bed. I'm 6'6", so that made me very, very happy exquisite personalized service. So for eight of us, we had two flight attendants, two large bathrooms. Um, and so it, it's really just more of a personalized experience for you, but it's over the top. And many times the prices are over the top as well. So today we've reviewed the different classes of service that you can book on board an aircraft. But the most important part to us is that you get the exact option that you're looking for and that you understand the option that you just purchased. This is a major problem when booking flights is that people don't quite understand the differences between booking the cheapest ticket and the ticket with the most value for you and your family. We have a full service flights team at Hard Travel, so when you're ready to book your next flight, reach out and we'll get you set right away.